Friday. It's been a while since I've been on here. Sorry about that. Just trying to do, trying to get everything done, get everything situated. It's been crazy. So I haven't done an update on our livestock guardian dogs. So I have them here. They're eating right now. And they now know, well, the girl now knows she will sit, like she will slide into a sit as she reaches my feet so that I will pet her because she knows that I'm not going to otherwise. Um, Hagrid, our boy, he's not jumping up on us anymore, but he's still not quite sitting before he gets to me, so I have to make him sit before I can pet him. Um, I always try to make them eat first. See, I brought their food out. So I try to make them eat first. And then when they're done eating is whenever I love on them and give them that attention. So. Say hi, girl. Tagger boy. There's her girlfriend. Oh, her so pretty. See, she's sitting, so then I love her. So I try to make that a point that that doesn't happen. And she'll lay down and, and I'll try to get her on her back. Maybe throw over. Throw over. And then I'll rub her belly and then I'll check her paws. Check her other back paws. Check her back paws just so she's used to that. So it's not anything to be worried about. Um, other than that, she's just a big old cuddle bug. She would cuddle with you all day, but she'll still get up and go with the sheep. So. Um, oh man. Got a sticker. Yeah. So that's Sister Girl. I don't really have a name for her yet, but that's her demeanor. Um, I have learned that if I pet her when she comes to me while she's eating, she'll usually get up and eat more. I'm done. Okay, good job. Eat. Let's see if she'll do it. She does it sometimes. No? did a flip. <laughs> you just did a tumble. Oh. Sit. Haggard. See, he'll still try to come and get some love. If those are ours. The girl is here, Anatolian Shepherd, and Haggard is Mixed with Anatolian Shepherd, Akbosh, and Great Pyrenees. But his mom, I believe, was was 100% Akbosh. And his dad was mixed with Anatolian and Great Pyrenees. So. Pretty handsome fella. And then today, uh, we just got finished tagging our sheep finally waiting on our shepherd's crook to get in and it finally got in and so we have tagged them see if you can see her out there uh, let's see if i can catch her she kind of looks like a sheep a little baby miniature sheep yeah. oh, this way see her out here she'll go out here with the sheep whereas he kind of just sits around the edge not trying to get it too close but it works. They let their, they let, let off steam together. And um, oh, she's going over there to poo. Um, anyway, so they let off steam together. They because we have the two of them, and we made sure we got them from two different families, um, so that if they decide that they would like to get married one day and have kids, they can do that without any risk. Um, so that's what we did. Ooh, look at that cloud behind me. I hope we get some rain. We could really use some rain out here. Anyhow, um, 
so I like that we have two that are not of the same family. They wrestle together, they play together, they chase each other and get their exercise. Let's see. Instead of having only one LGD, if they get bored, they can play together and not worry about hurting each other. Whereas if it was just one and they got bored, they might try to mess with the weakest link in the sheep. So that would be like the youngest lamb. And if they get too rough and rowdy, they could actually injure the lamb or kill it on accident. Just because they don't understand how much stronger they are. Um, so I definitely recommend having two. These two are working out pretty good. Now they are in the pasture 24-7. Um, so they don't have access to our house that we bring their food to them and I monitor them while they eat because um, the breeder that we got our pups from um, has a feeding station that she built and I thought it sounded really really cool even whenever I first heard about it I was worried if the sheep would try to get in there because obviously we want pasture raised sheep not dog fed not dog food fed sheep and so we don't want them eating the dog food. And we don't want the pups to get possessive towards the sheep as that just brings on aggression towards them. Um, so I have to monitor them while they're eating and make sure the sheep don't get over here. Now, the little feeding station that, this, that our breeder had, she took a hog panel and rolled it in half, or rolled it into a circle and made a little doggy door in it, a swinging door inside of it, and had the feeder in there. Well, our sheep can get in. And they've, luckily we didn't have any food in there because we didn't have to put the automatic feeder in. We hadn't got to that point yet. And uh, just wanted to make sure they were in there. All right. See, see, see? Oh, no, you tricked me. You tricked me. You can't come over here, see? I'm right here, so I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm distracted. So now I had to bring dog food because they want the dog food. No! So, oh my gosh, it's sprinkling. Awesome. Okay. So that is, um, anyway, so the sheep can get, sorry for the quality. The sheep can get in the feeding station. That was not okay with me, so we had to not do that anymore. And so now I'll just bring it out here twice a day, and sit with them, let them eat, and, then, um, and that's how we do it. Because um, every now and then, depending on where they're at, I'll bring them out on their leash to continue with their leash training if they ever need to take them to the vet. So. Uh, my oldest brought his food brought their food out today and i was already in there and the sheep are kind of pissy with us because we just got done piercing all their ears so i didn't think it'd be a problem but then i guess they got calm cool and collected and decided they'd come give it a try that maybe i'd feel sympathy for them but i'm they're still not getting the dog food so what i usually do is uh still have dog food left in here so I'll take it back out to them here in a little bit see what this rain clouds gonna do above me so like I said y'all I'm sorry it's been a while um, I've just been super busy trying to get everything and uh, Cub Scout stuff. So we're, trying, we're trying to kick off again for this next year for Cub Scouts, and that's been hectic. And I've got a lot of planning I need to do for that for our back to school social sports program and getting the kids involved. So, so it's going to be pretty busy with that.
so we will have um, all that going on and I need to uh, we've had a lot of snakes out here too Ugh. but I need to get all this other stuff done and I wanted to update y'all on the pups since I was out there and I had a minute um, we've had on about two months now I think I'll check the calendar on my next video and let y'all know for sure or I'll let you know down in the description box don't forget to like share comment and um hope y'all got something out of this video uh, anyway don't forget to swing on over to instagram or facebook we also i do um share on those quite often a lot more often than i do youtube so check that out uh give us a thumbs up and i'll talk to y'all later y'all have a good weekend